transpired in 41 days now i would like to request hari kiran ji hari kiran vadlamani ji who is the founder of indic academy indic academy is the mother body under which there are several verticals like indica yoga indica pictures indica yatra indic today so there are multiple uh, platforms multiple centers which all are working towards bringing about a global renaissance based on indic civilizational thought uh, the thought which is at once universal in nature and which can touch and transform lives of people so that is what uh, he is completely focused on everything that you can see happening under indica banner you can always immediately get to know that is the hari ji is there behind with his head heart my pocket everything is what hari ji is putting in so with this brief introduction to hari ji uh, one can never say enough about him uh, he is also he is an investor a budding an aspiring artist a columnist and someone who is very creative in everything that he does so that is hari kiran ji i now request hari kiran ji to kindly uh, give us an overview of indica indica academy and the various aspirations it holds for our times now thank you thank you vinay that was a very generous uh, introduction can you see me yes we can see you okay yes so thank you very much for that uh, it is uh, indeed uh, an overwhelming uh, feeling when uh, you you know you reeled out so many statistics and that presentation uh, just want to share how this uh, festival started the idea of this festival specifically Uh, the yoga festival i uh, live in uh, singapore and um, you know there is this uh, festival in uh, bali uh, called the bali spirit festival it happens in ubud every year in, in the month of april and um, you know been planning to visit that uh, festival to see uh, how it's happening and you know can we replicate something there uh, and uh, one idea that struck me was that perhaps uh, we can do uh, a festival in singapore because this is a global festival bali festival is a global festival and uh, everybody flies through uh, flies to bali through singapore so you know you can uh, just two days before or two days after if you plan for a festival in singapore then one can do a festival in singapore and uh, this was one idea that uh, we were discussing with and i that perhaps we should do this and then uh, but again the longing to do it in india uh, you know to do a festival yoga festival in india and uh, we know that th there is a big very very big festival that happens in rishikesh and uh, raghu my friend and uh, vinay also went uh, last year to just observe the uh, at the festival and see what what are the uh, issues there how how it's happening and uh, then we looked at having this festival in um, uh bangalore uh, you know have a festival in the south so we were working on it and we were talking to a few people and said okay let's let's try and do this in uh, bangalore and then covid happened so <laughs> we didn't know what to do and then we thought probably we should uh, drop this idea and after doing the oneness festival then uh, vinay called me and said look why don't we do a, a yoga festival also like uh, i was uh, so excited and joyful about this whole idea and then i was keeping on calling him and and and, and just uh, it was a very exciting uh, idea that uh, that we should do the yoga festival and uh, this happened sometime in april and and then today we have this uh, uh, festival with such a uh, hugely successful festival so i must first and foremost thank you vinay and thank you anu for curating this this fantastic lineup i mean this is uh, this is a a dream for any enabler like me uh, that somebody uh, has, has taken it up and delivered something uh, so immensely satisfying uh before i i uh, i talk a little bit of indica yoga i want to share uh, the concept of the, how indica yoga fits into uh, the overall 
uh, uh, activities of Indic Academy. We have started Indic Academy five years ago uh, in 2015. And uh, I consider it as a, uh, a non-traditional university for traditional knowledge. So it's an educational institution, but it's non-traditional, but for traditional knowledge. And the reason why I call it non-traditional university is because we're flexible. We are not regulated. We don't have any, uh, you know, any guidelines that we need to follow. We are just nimble, uh, like a cowboy, uh, immediately able to execute any idea. From an idea that comes to implementation, it's very, very short. So we don't have any bureaucracy. So it's an idea comes and implementation. That's the thing. And that's why we call it. And um, broadly speaking, uh, I, I, I keep telling my colleagues that I live in a cube. Uh, my head is in a cube. And the cube has three dimensions. One is that we are looking at preserving, protecting, and promoting our uh, Indic cultural thought. So that's one aspect of it, preserving, protecting, and, and promoting. And uh, this is across dimensions. We are doing it across intellectual, cultural, and spiritual. So uh, it is not just one aspect of, uh, uh, of, of our Indic civilizational thought that we are looking at, but it is across. So that's why, for example, we produce that video, uh, uh, which is a cultural expression. It is a dance expression. We support a lot of uh, culture. And then on the spiritual side, we have Advaita Academy and Indica Yoga. And then on the uh, Indology side, we have Inter Gurukula and uh, University Center. So we look at everything from a, uh, a complete perspective. And the reason we do that is because the civilizational thought itself manifests itself across the dimensions. It's not just one aspect of it. So, so you see, uh, if, if, if I say uh, a mudra, for example, a mudra is there in the Bhattanacham, it's there in Dakshinamurti's uh, Stotram and with, with, with the mudra he teaches uh, Vedanta. So uh, our mudra is useful uh, in, in, in healing. So if you see every thought, every our, our civilizational thought, you know, just goes through all the dimensions. So if you want to preserve, protect and promote, then you have to have intellectual, cultural, and spiritual. So all these dimensions. And the third perspective is that we look at it from a near-term, medium-term, and long-term perspective. So we look at all the three things. So immediate, medium, and long-term. And that's what I mean when I say that uh, uh, my, I, I live in a cube. Now, uh, we have three centers for uh, excellence. One is an inter-Gurukula and university center, which is uh, led by Dr. Nagraj Paturi. And basically, the idea is that there is a, we want to build a bridge between Gurukula system and the university system because you know they both don't talk to each other and then then you have the westerners who are looking at our culture and saying that okay this is indology and then they're looking at all this culture and they have their own biases and they have their own perspective their own distortions so we have a problem so what we are trying to do in this inter Gurukula university center is we are trying to build a bridge between the Gurukulas and the universities on one hand and build a bridge between the Shastras, Indic knowledge systems, and Indology. So that when they all talk to each other, hopefully there won't be distortions and they understand each other. And, 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 and this is this uh, initiative, we have, we have research programs, we, we, uh, we have announced more than 100 research programs, so we are constantly doing research. Uh, we are doing teacher training programs, we, we conduct courses, online courses. And now we were thinking of expanding it through establishing campus centers. So basically, we want to achieve scale. So we want to establish campus centers and deliver directly to the students. Now, we also have a center for indigenous sustainability. Uh, last night, we were having a chat with uh, uh, Dina Miriam who is going to talk about it. As you know, globally, uh, we have to look at uh, uh, environment and sustainability and our culture has the best uh, uh, best perspective, uh, uh, best knowledge systems for uh, for uh, sustainability, be it Ayurveda, be it uh, uh, craft, be it, uh, uh, be it agriculture. Our Indic knowledge systems, indigenous knowledge systems are one of the finest and we have a pedagogical structure. So this Center for Indigenous uh, Sustainability is headed by uh, uh, two very eminent people, Viva Karmani and um, Rahul Goswami. We just launched it. We did a conference on indigenous sustainability, and it was a fantastic success. We had 27 speakers, and essentially, at the at the core, 
the purpose of center for indigenous uh, sustainability is to make people worship nature treat nature with spiritual reverence the attitude shift if we bring that we feel that everything else will sort it out automatically just just that dimension and that is what our culture has that is exactly what our uh, culture has in terms of our reverence to uh, uh, nature the third center we have is center for soft power and this is headed by uh, my akka vijayalakshmi vijay kumar and uh, and aparna shridhar she is the editor for the magazine and the director and who heads the operations of vijayalakshmi and our basic idea is to preserve research and document our our entire so when we look at soft power we look at soft power across verticals so we, we, we yoga is obviously one uh, we have uh, uh, ayurveda we have uh, cuisine we have uh, vedanta we have uh, films we have uh, literature we have language visual arts performing arts music uh, education experiential tourism so we have a wide spectrum of uh, uh, our culture and uh, uh, it, uh, and the idea of this uh, center for soft power is to look at preserving uh, whatever uh, whatever needs to be preserved but to look at uh, global promotion and and that's a very important thing because globally our culture is consumed uh and uh, we are not doing anything uh to to promote it in a systematic way in an authentic way in a immersive way in a transformative way uh, for the first time in 2014 we had this uh, uh, international yoga day and uh, that's the first initiative we actually took uh, but globally all the uh, uh, our culture is consumed in several ways i i i talk about uh, you know uh, this 5c framework uh, uh, basically if you look at it from a perspective of care for example care is ayurveda so globally ayurveda is now uh, very much uh, accepted or you look at cuisine uh, or uh, you, you know one in seven uh, millennial uh, is turning vegan and uh, vegetarian food and vegan food is the biggest uh, growth uh, worldwide and india with 29 states uh, has the immense uh, uh, offering on uh, on cuisine uh, and then we have uh, cultural experiences experiential tourism is one of the fastest growing uh, tourism across the world people come not to see a monument but they want a intellectual experience they want a emotional experience they want a cultural experience and that's the fastest growing sector within the overall tourism sector and india has the maximum uh, uh, thing to offer and then consciousness consciousness is what i mean when we talk about uh, spirituality and lastly we have craft everything in the world today what you wear on your body uh, uh, what you uh, what you uh, what you wear what you put on your body what you put in your house everything has to be craft and and this is the way in india is, is is a mother for craft so if you look at it from a 5c frame, framework soft power and our culture it, it is consumed globally and if we promote it in a way we can become an economic uh, uh, superpower through our culture and that's what uh, the center for soft power is trying to do apart from these three centers we have several platforms we have indic book club where which is uh, uh, led by my friend abhinav agrawal so we distribute books we have distributed more than uh, uh, 10000 books over the last few years then we have a commentary platform uh, run by yogini deshpande she it's a commentary platform uh, for civilizational uh, matters then we have igen plus led by uh, saumi agrawal uh, it's focused on the same thing but for children uh, so uh, to make children more rooted and then free culturally sensitive but at the same time creative and then we have indika yoga uh, led by uh, vinay chandra and anu and then we have indika pictures led by uh, uh, danji uh, danji totpalli and we are just launching it we are going to do a, uh, a yoga festival then we have advaita academy which is uh, led by uh, nitin sridhar so we have all these verticals across uh, uh, different disciplines uh, so you have the centers and you have the platforms but and we have chapters across the country you see one of the things that has happened in the last 5 years is that in more than 30 places in in uh, around the world we have been able to do events we have done more than 496 events across the world and we have we, we have more than uh, 40 volunteers uh, conveners and associates are all uh, as a like family across uh, india and across the world and uh, 
you can check uh, uh, indica indica academy and uh, the footer of the team and you will see uh, the amazed uh, at the kind of uh, support we have for all our programs so this is the broader uh, uh, activities of uh, indic academy uh, and how we are trying to look at ourselves as uh, as an educational institution for uh, traditional knowledge systems and 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 that's the kind of a growth that uh, we are we are having now coming to uh, yoga and 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 our our what our desire and and, and the plans for uh, yoga art is that we want to uh, announce i mean uh, take this opportunity on this auspicious day to announce the formation of of uh, asana plus alliance and 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 this alliance is uh, distinct from the yoga alliance uh, uh, is distinct because the entry is if you are if you if you qualified in 200 hours then you are eligible to join the asana plus and we are not looking at numbers our, our basic idea is if you have finished your yoga alliance 100 hour program 200 hour program 500 hour program then come to us if you are interested in enhancing your practice and learning new things from an authentic perspective from an immersive perspective from a transformative perspective any new thing that you want to do right that is then that your journey will start then now the idea of we are talking about entrepreneurs we want to create and convert them into yoga preneurs every person who is doing yoga who has finished this and who becomes a member of our asana plus uh, uh, alliance we want to make him or her into a yoga preneur yoga preneur who is thinking about authentic immersive and transformative products services or experiences you see unless you think of it from that perspective even products for example you know you go to the bay area there will be a lot of meditation apps you know meditation pods uh, mats lululemon all these these are all products relating to our craft and our yoga so we need entrepreneurs who think of it like that they are not indian entrepreneurs so we need yoga entrepreneurs who are thinking about uh, craft products so if you set up a yoga studio for example uh, you can think about a corner uh, for uh, for uh, selling ayurveda products uh, craft products uh, make it uh, uh, you know like a starbucks kind of a thing and then you have uh, your studio so you if you if you think start thinking about this from a perspective of these five c's that i was talking about then if you want to take for example you you, you want to you, you want to do a yoga retreat for right i take uh, take a group to uh, rishikesh but that's just one aspect of it there's a cultural immersion that's there so if you think of it as from a cultural experience experiential tourism then you can plan your yoga retreats anywhere for example if you if you are uh, if you want to take uh, uh, ramana maharshi's uh, journey when he when at 16 year at the age of 16 when he started his journey you give that experience and then go to tirunamalai and then do a retreat there like that india is full of uh, 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 you know uh, yatras uh, uh, stala puranas so all these uh, uh, you you can you can do a yoga retreat uh, by 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 curating it around a, a an immersive uh, visit to a stala purana and that's the that's what i mean when i say yoga uh, yoga prayer so we want to encourage yoga practitioners who have finished asanas and finished the yoga uh, alliance and then want to offer uh, authentic experiences immersive experiences transformative experiences and look at en enhancing uh, enhancing their practice we we want to support we want to encourage and this is this is what we mean when we say it's a diverse and and an inclusive platform and so we embrace we don't have a, an exclusive saying that this is the technique we want to embrace all techniques all styles uh, and, and then encourage and make uh, uh, on uh, yoga or yoga preneurs because today um, the world needs this this is the this is the need so we need to step up we need to raise to the occasion and 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 offer these things and we need to move beyond asana and that's why when we say asana plus asana plus 
is not just in terms of learning a specific uh, 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 you know chanting or ayurveda or but asana plus is also in terms of expanding your offerings looking at uh, uh, you know uh, uh, vegetarian ayurveda based uh, uh, restaurant for example uh, she was supposed to divya alter she was supposed to speak she couldn't but uh, she runs a yoga studio and uh, uh, and uh, and uh, ayurveda restaurant uh, uh, in new york I, i went to visit her and it was just a fantastic experience so we need to expand uh, and think about these things so broadly speaking uh, 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 this is what our plans are and the and morning we discuss the, the yogacharya uh, uh, plan and we want to launch this post covid uh, the moment we are able to do so uh, we have all the facilities ready we want to launch an immersive transformative experience for people to become yogacharyas and that's a very very uh, uh, strong uh, uh, desire sankalpam that we have taken so that is the uh, the second thing so uh, these are our plans uh, immediate plans do reach out a lot of people have written saying that they want to contribute please write to us and uh, the way we want to operate is that uh, we want to uh, we want to treat our people who want to contribute also engage with them know them more and and uh, and, and then uh, partner with them we, we want to treat our donors as partners so we will uh, do write to us and then uh, we'll reach out to you and uh, we want to continue this momentum this is a fantastic momentum we want to continue this momentum uh, we will give vinay and, uh, and subhu and uh, anu a break for 10 days or so or 15 days uh, and then we'll start w- with the uh, weekend uh, festivals we'll curate uh, uh, a weekend uh, kind of a, a programs so uh, with that uh, i thank you once again uh, it was just an amazing uh, experience an amazing uh, one of those most satisfying things uh, that um, uh, we we can think of doing and actually uh, doing it so i thank all of all the partners all the audience uh, uh, all the people all the speakers and and it's just been a fantastic so thank you very